Hi, I'm Jim Weaver. I'm a Java evangelist at Oracle Corporation. And I'm with Purse, Purse, Pur. Is it Pur or Par? Both. It's both. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's Pur, Par, Seco. And it's Martin Gunnarsson. Martin the Machine Gun Gunnarsson, I understand. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's kind of my and gangster name. That is gangster name. Yeah. <laughs> are you West Coast or East Coast? West Coast. West Coast. Oh, yeah. Is our, you're East Coast. East Coast. Yeah. East Coast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a sign for East Coast? Uh, East? Yes. You don't have Can't that. Can't <laughs> So these guys are uh, JavaFX developers and um, uh, also colleagues and friends of mine over the last several years. It seems like uh, I meet these guys at conferences and then as, as I travel the world and go to conferences, these guys are always there speaking, and so we've kind of got this bond, and and, um, and I've seen several of the presentations that, that you guys have done, and um, I've always been impressed by the, what I call the, the Dean Martin and, uh, and Jerry Lewis kind of effect that you guys do. You kind of play off each other. Yeah. Um, I've always been impressed at how much, how little time I see you, though, at the actual conference, because you do so much rehearsing back at the hotel room to make sure that your, you know, that your presentations are spot on. So I, I do appreciate that, and I always like to attend your, your sessions, uh, so much so that, as you know, that, um, that you helped me in, 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 in my session yesterday, the yeah. university session on uh, the JavaFX bootstrap. So you guys have a couple presentations coming on at DevOps. What, uh, what are they going to be about, and what kind of uh, antics are you going to do? Well, we have, uh, I guess the big thing is we have uh, our presentation from Java 1 here at DevOps. Um, and it's, it's a presentation about how to bring web content into JavaFX applications. So we have a very powerful web view in JavaFX 2. And it's a WebKit browser, basically, that you can uh, you can have really good integration between the JavaScript running in the web view and your JavaFX code. So you can sort of make the web content a fully integrated part of your application. And we kind of show some cool and uh, a bit crazy demos or example of things you can do with this technology. Uh, both, both useful stuff and some that are a bit more goofy and fun. Uh, goofy like what? Goofy. Oh, goofy, <laughs> yeah. I see. Okay. Well, I've created a lot of you know useful examples that is that you can that you can use in production. Okay. And Martin, I don't know what well, you've been doing, you know, all the rest. Actually, it's kind of the other way around. I created some really inspirational, good examples, I kind see. of showing uh, really reasonable, real-world use cases for the web view and, uh -huh. and things like this. Right. And you created some kind of beer hunt application. I mean, I, I appreciate the beer always, <laughs> but useful. I don't... I it's mean, useful, yes. Yeah. But, um, yeah. yeah, so some of the stuff are a bit more out there, but... Um, okay. It's all, they all show off the powers of the web view in JavaFX, gotcha. which is a really powerful component that we like to use a lot. Gotcha. It's really ex extremely powerful. It cool. is. Yeah. Cool. Now, when you guys aren't uh, presenting at conferences, w what are your day jobs? What do, you, what do you do for a living? What do you do? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, well, uh, seriously, I, um, I'm a consultant. I okay. work for, as a developer for different clients. And right now, I've been working with JavaScript for a pretty long time. Uh -huh. uh, so JavaScript-based applications, mm -hmm. which has come, come in real handy now that we're working with the web view in Java, yeah. uh, JavaFX. Mm -hmm. So I can sort of uh, focus on the web stuff that Per doesn't really know about. And, uh, <laughs> I see, okay. And he can help out a bit with the JavaFX that we both know. I see, okay. <laughs> so I don't know what your contribu contribution <laughs> is really. But. But I do all of the stuff. I mean, I'm the programmer. I'm the one who knows, you know, how it works. So, I see. Okay. but uh, at my day job, I do a lot of. Uh, I'm a long-time Swing developer. Oh, okay. Yeah, and but for the past couple of years, we've been doing more and more Java effects. Yeah. And at my day job, I also do Android. So, uh, but only client side. I mean, that's what I do, client side. Okay. I guess we have that in common in that yeah. we've been using, we've been working a lot with front end client side technology and that's what we think is fun. Okay. We like UI stuff and graphics and all this. Yes, Not so much um, server side, I don't know. It's no. And in our presentation it's, it's really good because Martin is really good on, on the the fluffy JavaScript, HTML, <laughs> CSS. Right. And I can do the, the, the core logic instead. So we can combine it and that's what makes the magic I think. That's Probably. yeah I think so. Yeah. And that's you're pretty good. I mean I I gotta give you that because you're really good on design and I'm more like a general programmer. I mean I'm I don't know. I, don't, I can't see it. I mean, I'm, I can't design a good-looking application, but Martin gotcha. can. So, yeah. 
But that's the only thing you can. I, I think that's <laughs> I <see. laughs> well, <clears throat> but I think that's pretty common uh, among developers. It, it's very hard to, to kind of get that uh, an eye for for design. It's, yes. it's pretty much something you're born with. Yeah, you either have it or you don't. Right? Exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. hard to kind of uh, to learn it. Yeah. yeah. So, so. I remember uh, when I was visiting Malmo, Sweden, that, that you guys were leading a jug, I believe, or or actually, or, or uh, and you were doing some type of a, uh, created some type of an activity where the jug members were going to uh, do a kind of a hacking session and create yeah. a game. Can you go into what what were you doing? What was that all about? Having fun. Okay, having yeah, fun. Yeah, I think so. Okay. And, um, but we created this robot wars where we had the engine. So we, so we. Um, it was a JavaFX application. Yeah, it was actually. a JavaFX application. The the user interface was really cool, good looking. So you can run around with your robot and, and shoot, and, and it was explosions and stuff like that. So the only thing the attendees had to do was create the algorithm for the robot. Kind so of the AI. Yeah. So no yeah. no user interface, just a you know a single method. Okay. And we applied the the intelligence on the robots. And we had this great war between the robots. Kind of a robot battle. Uh, yeah. Winner takes it all kind of thing. Okay. Uh, exactly. so that was really fun. Well, I and was I really think impressed how you got the, uh, you know, how you got uh, so many people in, the, you know, in the in the user group mm -hmm. to to spend so many hours in the evening just yeah. playing with JavaFX. It was really really cool. I was very impressed. Yeah. yeah. But I think yeah. Uh, putting it, it's kind of a game. And you put the game in the hands of the developers, and mm -hmm. you're kind of tricking them into learning stuff. Okay. So it's, uh, it's, I think it's a good way. Yeah, sure. uh, it's just plain fun, and yeah. you learn a bit about JavaFX. And it all started time. off with, uh, I mean, from the beginning, it was just uh, a hobby project, you know, using JavaFX. And we thought, why don't we do something serious about it? And we had the UI, and we had the robots, and so why don't we, we create some kind of competition? And that's so JavaFX was the starting point. Mm -hmm. And then it turned out to be a really good competition. Nice, nice. Now, if uh, if you could um, have uh, one or two asks of the uh, for of JavaFX, things that you would want to see in JavaFX or see improved in JavaFX, and of course now that it's uh, becoming open source, uh, what you ask for, we're going to be asking you, of course, doing to it. contribute. Yeah. But what kinds of things and improvements and capabilities? Would you like to see uh, with JavaFX? The obvious ones are, uh, you know, on, on iOS and Android. So, but uh, other ones. I think one of my pet peeves throughout the years with Java has been deployment. Okay. Uh, you know, um, and actually that's kind of been fixed now. Okay. You can easily export like a Mac app and a Windows app straight out of NetBeans. Okay. Um, so uh, I'm pretty happy with that. That's always been like, ah, yeah. why do I have to have my users jump through all these hoops to get my app running? Yes. Uh, and now there are tools for that. So at the moment, yeah. I'm pretty happy. But uh, You're pretty happy? But, but Par, are you, are you happy? Or? Uh, we have the web view. Okay. So it's not a feature that I request because it's already, already there. And uh, I really like it. So uh, I'm satisfied. But what I would like is... Oracle and the community to to continue with the innovation okay. because it's been it's been a few years where where nothing happened I see. and now Oracle is pushing Java effects and the community is, is on board and, and working so I just I just wanted to continue and okay. more delivery and more stuff more innovation gotcha. I think it's great to see that stuff or stuff stuff is happening again I yeah mean, we're getting news yeah. about Java effects and Java in general Anything. you can and feel it's moving well. forward yeah very excited. Well, it's been great connecting with you guys. Again, thanks for your help yesterday, and uh, and good luck in your sessions uh, for Thank the rest you. of JavaFX. Thank you very much.